I don't see any hydrangeas coming up yet. There might be some little green sprouts coming up, but they're real small. I think that's probably what it is. Brought out these billing solar powered lights that were sent to me for a trial run. I never did get around to putting them up. Right now I'm just gonna let them charge here in the sun. We'll let them shine on the bird bath. Okay, that one's charging. Just to give them a trial run, see how they do. I would say my hydrangeas need, I mean, not hydrangeas, what's the matter with me? Zinnias. I would say my zinnias need a little drink of water. They're not gonna grow without some rain or watering. That's what they need, they need a drink. It's a pretty day, a little, a little bit windy, but not bad. We had a freeze the other night, went down to 28 degrees, but it looks like my hydrangeas survived it just fine. Look at that dandelion. Boy, that's a big one. See if we can pull that up. Nope. We did succeed in breaking it off, though. All right, my spotlights have had some time to charge. It has occurred to me there might be a switch on here for on and off. Let's check this one out and just see, is it got a switch? Yeah, there it is right there. I guess it's gonna get dark before it'll come on. There we go. That's definitely on. Where's that switch at? Here it is. I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna use these lights yet. Basically, I just wanted to see how bright it is at night. Probably would be better off to have them over there where they shine on the walkway, but there's not much sunlight over there during the day. Okay, we got that one where it's going to shine on the bird bath. See if this one's turned on. It's a dim dandy little light. The whole top is a solar panel. I doubt it's going to be all that bright, but we'll find out come dark. Talking about the rain in the next couple of days. There was a house finch eating out of my bird feeder when I come out here. 
guess it's getting time to start making some bird videos. My knockout rose has gotten huge over there. It does look like my hydrangeas sustained some freezer damage the other night. Oh well. Mother Nature takes care of her own. We'll come out here after a while and stand right here. And it'll be fairly dark. The street light will be on over there. And I've got one light on that bird feeder over there. It's solar power, but we're going to see if the, from this distance, which is about oh, 20 yards, 60 feet, I guess. See if we can see it from here. It probably won't even show up on this GoPro camera. We could bring the Sony Handycam out here and check it. And we'll probably get some bird video tomorrow because those sparrows are definitely enjoying the bird feed. I need to take them some water. They've been on that bird bath three times. Perfect amount of water. Got some leaves in there, it won't hurt nothing. It's been a very nice day. Okay, my friends, I've got my GoPro going and my Sony Handycam. I think the Sony Handycam is going to do better. From what I can see, my two little spotlights is lighting up the bird bath fairly well. I bet the GoPro is not showing it as good. Sure has lit up the bird bed though. I'm going to come up with an arrangement to put them lights higher up. I don't need to be shining up in the sky. I need to be shining down on something. Pretty neat little lights if you wanted to get some of those and put around your walkway or something. They're brighter than the walkway lights that I used to have them, some of them cheap small ones. I'll put a link in the description if anybody wants to check these out. But it does a pretty good job of lighting up the way here. If I was walking without a flashlight or something, I wouldn't need it. Human eye can see quite well better than this camera. The GoPro is doing, I mean the Sony Handicam is doing quite well. That's going to conclude my video for today. It's past 8 o'clock at night and I've been in there editing for the last hour but I remembered to come out and check these out but I'm thinking if I put them up taller shine it down on the bird bath that'd look quite neat at night ain't no birds are gonna come drink at night but you never know the deer might come around and take a drink you will take care of this Pete Walpar wishing everybody well I hope spring has come to your neighborhood. It certainly has here. But as far as I'm concerned, spring is a here. As far as I'm concerned, spring has sprung. Mm -hmm.